glioblastoma is the number one intraocular malignancy in children. And worldwide, it's about 50% fatal. In Jakarta, due to some of the educational programs, it's now only about 40% fatal in this country. In the United States, only 4% uh, of patients die from retinoblastoma. So we've seen um, a spectrum of children from very advanced disease, so there's still some patients that present with very late stage retinoblastoma, and now we're seeing more uh, intraocular disease, and patients have been going under chemo reduction, so it's been a wide spectrum between very advanced disease and eyes that we can see. She has bilateral retinoblastoma. Uh, she was recently treated with uh, IV chemotherapy and she had her right eye removed and we're looking at her left. She's uh, had chemo reduction in that eye and there's a persistent big tumor that we're going to treat with laser today. spot size to try to treat a 15 millimeter tumor and that's like trying to paint a house with a toothbrush so the, the challenges that these doctors face is because the equipment is not ideal it's nearly impossible to get in a full uh, local treatment and I think with the advances in technology and just getting one laser can make the difference between life and death. He is is you want to catch the disease while it's still in the eye and be able to make the diagnosis quickly, educate your patients and uh, the community that, you know, white or cat's eye is a bad thing, it needs to get taken care of, 